Welcome back to more of the Game of Mind of Sam of M. Let's Play of Legend of Keepers. I think I have to take somebody out. Who do I have to take out? I know it's somebody. So the, no, it's not the archer. It's Goblin. Really? Okay, that's fine. You will have to come out for now. Wow, I didn't realize I didn't put either the Knoll or the Seder in here. Wow, that's very irresponsible of me. Okay, let's bring... I guess it doesn't really matter which one of them we bring and where. It sort of does, I guess, but I think the back group needs more, well, needs any tanks right now. It doesn't have, it is only, all I have is the knoll back there, so. Okay, well, you know what, hold on. Hmm. Is there somebody else I should bring in the front group, maybe, instead of the satyr? I don't know, we'll just, we'll just go with this group for now, and we'll see what happens. So we're going to go into the Aztec Ruins to get a nice pile of money and a trap. Alrighty. So who are we dealing with? Wow, you have a lot of HP. This knight can't be affected by poison. That's unfortunate. And we have a shadow. Okay. Damage dealt to monsters at their maximum life is increased by 50%. So he's going to kill whatever is in the front row. And another goddamn virtuoso. Immune to master spells. So at least he's only going to get one dodge off per round instead of two. Per fight, I should say. Okay. So it's physical and nature to the front and physical to the area. Okay. I mean, yes, Orc is perfect for this, but... He's also going to die in the first, like, before he gets a chance to do anything. Because the... Because the, the freaking shadow ability, where he does excessive amounts of damage to monsters at full health. Okay. Okay. So, it's just... So, it's nature to the... Nature to the area? No, it's physical to the area. Right? Yeah. Physical to the area. So I know that the vampire is... No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I can't do that. Uh, okay. Let's bring armor. Physical to the area. Nothing else really resists any of those. I mean... Vampire resists. Okay, let's let's try let's try this. This is going to go very badly. Okay. So they're going to get all their penalties removed after the next group of monsters. So I think it's okay to go ahead and do bone catapult now. Then we get the spell, and then we can do whatever the hell we want. So who is immune to master spells? Were you? You can't be affected by poison. Okay. Okay. Virtuoso is immune to master spells. Okay. So physical in nature of the front, physical of the area. God, I really wish I had my other orc available. Because <laughs> the knoll is definitely going to die here. Like, it's not going to survive anything. So, Knight has positive armor. You don't, unfortunately. Why does the Virtuoso have 65% armor? Do you see how ludicrously overpowered this guy is compared with every other class in the game? Every other hero class in the game. Yes, he's weak to ice and air, but come on! 65% armor. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, Dog has some armor, right? Yeah, it does. Let's see. It's just bad nature. Bad nature resist. Enhanced resistance to the monster of the group and guaranteed crit to the one at the back. I just don't know who to bring or who to put where. That's the problem. I, I don't know. Uh, let's put the dog here. I guess we'll bring Succubus, and then she's just gonna die. Like, almost immediately. Because she's gonna get hit by a whole bunch of physical damage, like, right at the start, and I don't like it at all. 
I don't like any of this. So, Orc's dead. Oh, he's not. Vampire took a shitload of damage, though. That's not okay. Okay. Bloody Assault is not going to do... Well, physical... Bloodbath... It's air. What's your air resist? Worse than your physical. So I'm going to go for a Bloodbath. Even though it's not going to spread any, any bleed, it at least... Is, at the very least, we have some bleed on the knight now. Oh, right. You're going to do, like, nothing to this guy. Uh, probably shouldn't have done that. Okay. Let's just flame strike. Since it'll do more damage with more stacks of burn. Okay. That did not go well. That went very badly. Yikes. That went horrendously poorly. Let's just spread all the bleed as much as we can. Because there's nothing else I can do. Okay. That sequence of events went very, very badly. <laughs> okay. So they're going to take a crap load of damage from that, which is great. Okay. I'm going to go for Shona Mercy... Just because I feel like Burning Whip is not really useful, or not really as useful as it could be. Alright, get rid of the dodge. Okay, Shadow is pretty close. Doesn't he have like plus 30 or plus 40 resistances from that thing before? Yeah, he does actually have pretty good resistances. His armor's still terrible, but... Just keep Spectral Clawing everything. Frostbite's the best thing you've got going for you right now. I think the ninja or the shadow is going to die before he actually gets to attack. He'll still poison one of us. But he'll die before he gets to actually take advantage of it. And I hope that... Nice, so that dodge was just wasted on the shadow. So that's fantastic. Howl does demoralize. I think that's a better option right now. Just because Bite would do, like, no damage to the knight. Okay. We're working through it. And this is great because the Succubus' attack will now hit both of them. Uh, your nature resist is pretty bad. Your nature resist is extremely good. For some reason. I was going to hit them both either way because of the two bird stones, so... Whatever. Uh, protective strike. You're poisoned, right? That's uh, nature damage. Sure. Let's smack the crap out of them. Oh, that hits them both, too. Right. Okay. That works. Okay, good. <sighs> okay. Now this guy with his 65% armor. Ridiculous. Okay, we got him. Thank goodness. I'm glad they didn't get to the resting room there. Okay. Mortar, circular saw. What level is this? I know it says it's on level 2. Okay. I probably won't use any of these. I'll take the poison cloud. But I probably won't ever use it. Okay. So we have a bit of money now, but I don't want to spend it on traps right now. Although I could probably... No, I don't think I could quite afford to level up Bone Catapult to full. Let's go for a workout. See what I can do here. Plus 5 to all resistances is quite good. Plus 120 health is also quite good. Plus 5 regeneration. Not as impressed by that. I will take the health up. I think it's better to keep the tears for other purposes, I suppose. Actually, you know what? I'm sure that the heroes are going to get to me eventually. 74 blood's fine. That's plenty of blood. Okay. Uh, sanctuary would not be too bad right now, actually. Okay. Goblin's back. Orc is not... I think a Sanctuary is a good idea right now. Okay, so we can get the, we give them damage taken increased by 30%. That's pretty good. 
Poison is okay. Bleed is okay. I kind of like the vulnerable. Yes, it's going to cost a lot of my tears. I think it's worth it. Okay. Black Market, I don't really want to do that right now. I like having my options available. So, 50 gold to increase morale. Who all got injured? Vampire. Uh, Archer just needs more morale. So does the armor. Okay, let's go for it. We'll take it. It's fine. Okay, another workout, or we have 180 gold. That's not much. Orc is still out for another week. Can I even level anything up? It's not selling me I can't. Let's see who I can level up. Seder can level up. Oh, a bunch of these actually can be leveled up. Didn't realize that they all cost so little. Ghost is only level 2. Wow, I feel really bad for not leveling it up earlier. Okay. Um, all demons of the group gain enhanced resistance. I should really be using more demons. How many demons do I even have here? Is the... Okay, so the armor is a demon. I'm assuming the cultist is a skeleton. No, it's a demon. Okay, weird. Succubus is obviously a demon. Uh, okay. Hmm. It's a boost to all of its attacks and plus 20 HP, plus 10 fire, plus 10 nature. That's a very good level up. I'm taking it. I haven't used the satyr recently, but it's very good. Is this the end of the campaign? Oh, crap. I didn't even realize it was the end. Okay. Uh, is there anyone I want to take out of here right now? Who's still level 2? I should probably take out any level 2 monsters, like the ice skeleton, unfortunately. I think it's going to have to leave. Get the orc there. Uh, wasn't the ghost also level 2? Where even is the ghost? There it is. I will throw the goblin in there. I probably shouldn't put the goblin in the second group, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. Wasn't expecting the end of the campaign right now, but here we are. Okay, what monstrosity... Oh god, is that a... Oh god, it's an archmage. Okay. Archmage, Mamluk, and Hellbringer. Heals 10% of all heroes maximum life at the start of each fight. Ugh. All right. 10% of heroes maximum morale back. Uh, right? Yeah. No, it doesn't matter. That's fine. Okay. Jeez. So ice to the front, ice to the back, air to the back. Yeah? Air to the back? Yeah. Okay. So we're probably not bringing <laughs> suit of armor, unfortunately. Ice and air, huh? Okay, Vampire does resist both. Orc does not. Satyr... If it's air resist, wasn't so garbage. Oh, crap. I put both orcs in the front group. Oh, god damn it. All right. I screwed up. Royally. Okay. Ice to the front. If we put Seder in the front. No, it's I wait. No, it's it's air and ice to the front. Uh, air and ice to the back, sorry. Air and ice to the back. Can anything vampire can sort of live to both of those, but I'd rather not kill it immediately. I really want to bring suit of armor for all the penalties I can put on it. Cause they're gonna heal up here. That's real bad. I really want to bring suit of armor, just for the penalty, all the penalties I can put on everybody. I don't really want to bring an orc in this group. Okay, I'm sorry, vampire. You probably are going to die sooner than I want you to, but I really want that suit of armor for all of its penalties. Uh, I guess we're going bone catapult. This is not going to go well. I might lose. 
I'm probably going to lose, actually. Okay, air and ice to the back, ice to the front. You're not gonna go do very well there, are you? No, no. Okay, so no one resists both of those. Wonderful. Does anyone at least resist ice? So dog resists ice, that's something. Cultist resists ice also. Yeesh. Okay. So, cultist. Damage out reduced by 20%. Maybe I should have been using the cultist more. I don't know. Okay. So nothing resists both air and ice. I just don't know who to put there. Noel might have the best chance of surviving one round, just because of its HP, but 82 and 87, it's not going to survive. There's no chance. So I think what I have to do is I have to put something very fast in the back, and then it'll get one turn and then die. I don't have many, uh, I don't have many options for fast monsters, though. I could just... I guess I'll just take Succubus. She can probably deal the most damage in one round, and then she'll just die, and that's it. Which sucks, but that's the best I can do. Dog has very little HP. I don't like that. Cultist has even less. Is it even worth it bringing the... Is it even worth it bringing the Knoll? I don't know. Maybe it isn't. Cultist would do... Center would gain extra speed. I probably shouldn't use the Cultist. It's only level 2. We'll try it. I expect this... T I think we might actually lose this. Okay. Oh, you're going first. Damn. They don't have any... Oh, no, they... Wait, why did you have... Oh, you have Vulnerable on you. Okay. Well, then I will use Mischief to spread that to everybody even more. Except it didn't... Oh, no, it did work. Never mind. Okay. Did it only work on one of them? I think it did. I don't know. I can't tell. All right. Bloody Assault. All right, that hits both of them. That's great. Okay, that is really unfortunate. Flame Strike, there's no way that the suit of armor is going to survive around here, unfortunately. It sucks. Okay. All penalties applied to the target to an oh, another random hero. Oh, shoot. Okay, so it's confusion that's that was the better option because it spreads all penalties to yeah, to both of them. Okay, that's my mistake. That's a whole bunch of penalties on everybody, which is fantastic, but also there's no way that the suit of armor is going to survive around here. Oh, it did. Okay, fine. More penalties, more flame strikes. I think that might be the most penalties I've ever had on a on a group of heroes. Let's keep spreading. <laughs> is that 8 penalties? Jeez. Well, that's as good as I could have asked for, I guess. And they're gonna get demoralized, too. She's gonna dodge one, that's fine. The dots are gonna get them. Okay, we got one of them. We got the Hellbringer, that's great. Uh, I don't know. What's your fire resist, sir? That's pretty bad, actually, so... Sure. Put even more penalties on. What the heck? Oh, nice. Okay, that actually ended up working out very well. Cool. <laughs> we only scared one hero away, and I think that was by accident. Oh no, was that the or was that the skeleton warrior that we scared off? I don't remember. 
Gross. Okay. Cool. Well, we made it through our first ascension. That's kind of neat. Uh, let me look at my talents, since I do have a talent point to spend. I wouldn't mind getting the plus 10 speed, but also I don't really like this progression that much. Do I? I don't know. Each time a monster is defeated, grants 10, 20, 30% chance, so the master gains enraged. Eh. Let's see. Grants each monster in the garrison a 15 or 30% chance to get one additional motivation back after a dungeon. I mean, it's, it's okay. So you can get a skeleton dog and a vampire to starting monsters. I don't know if that's for everything. Burning web damage increased by 10, 20, 30%. Mm, I mean, it's fine. Intimidation deals extra morale damage. 20% chance to apply demoralized. You know what? Sure. Let's go for the... I mean, I don't know if it really matters which one we go for at this point. I just got a text message. Give me just a sec here. See if I missed something particularly important. Okay, it's a spam message. Awesome. I keep getting text messages, spam text messages that always start, Hey, Debra! It's like, that's not my name. Why do you think that's my name? I don't understand. Okay. Let's ascend. Do it again. It sounds like there's a garbage truck or just something backing up outside. Don't know what it is. Maxim master maximum life is reduced by 10%. That's, again, not bad. I don't know if these, uh, I'm assuming these, like, accumulate over time, but I don't know. We'll see. Let's get to work. Again, I know that I should be getting, I should be going for, like, more, I should be going for the other masters. I know I should be, but I don't know. The Father of the Dam has been working out pretty good for us so far, although I don't know what Oh, we're starting with another artifact, but I don't know which one. Let's see, which one is this one? I probably should have looked before I started this. Oh, the the, the bone. Once you're placed in a group, uh, get plus 15 to all resistances, plus 30 armor. But they all have to be skeletons. Do I even have any skeletons right now? I have a skeleton. I have two skeletons. Maybe if I buy another skeleton. Maybe I get it. Maybe you know, a skeleton soldier would be great. I didn't see one. I haven't seen one in quite some time. I would love a skeleton soldier or a dog. I'll take a dog. I don't know if I want a flame eater. I'll just leave the rest. I'm good without the rest. <laughs> I could go back to the merchant again. Um, I don't know. Let's go to the trainer. Who do I train up? Anybody. It doesn't matter who. Not the goblin. Don't really care that much about it at this point. <laughs> no offense, but not interested. Okay. Sure, let's do archer, and that's it. I'm not even going to bother with the goblin this time. Not interested. <laughs> they keep pushing the engineer on me. I don't have the money for it right now, buds. What do we have here? Oh, Aegis. Uh, creatures transfer their stacks of enraged to a random monster of the group. I'm going to sell that. That's one of those things that's super situational, and I don't really get that many monsters that have enraged on them a lot. So I'm good without it. Okay, Orc, Skeleton Magus, and Skeleton Soldier. 75% chance of volunteers out for five weeks, but they all get motivation. They don't need the motivation. Uh, plus two motivation and haste. Can I get some money? 75% chance everyone's tired. It's the only one that gives me money, and a chance to find an artifact is fine. Uh, we didn't get the money. We didn't get the artifact, and we did get tired. Okay. That's unfortunate. Okay. So we might go for a low-level monster, low-level dungeon, maybe, so we don't have to deal with too many horrors. On the other hand, more money would be nice. Uh, let's see. Okay. If I... If I... 
Hmm. I'm just trying to think of like what I would want to do here. Because if I put like all the skeletons in one group, like that, this wouldn't be a very strong first group, but potentially we could get that that uh, artifact to trigger, to proc, whatever the word is. I don't know. Okay, so we have a Berserker, great. Templar, great. Enchanter, uh. Attacks regenerate the target's hero, the, the hero's life by 50% of damage dealt. So this guy is basically going to be unkillable, it seems like. Ignores first attack suffered. And speed increased by 20. Not a huge problem for the Berserker, but still a bit of a problem. Okay, so physical to the front, air to the front, nature to the area. I really wanted to put the orc in the front. Well, it doesn't matter because we're going to get shifted anyway. So I'm going to put the orc in the front. Put the yeti go in the back. And who cares about what we do with the goblin? Sorry, goblin. You're, you're basically just, you're just fodder. All right. I'm not 100% sure which... If I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to go for a morale victory or a kill victory. I'm think I would like to go for a morale victory. The only issue is that I don't have that many monsters that deal a whole bunch of morale damage right now. Okay. Now the question is, do I want to try to go for? If I want, do I want to take advantage of? Of the of the bone of the artifact, plus fifteen to all resistances and plus thirty armor. So with that taken into account, so the dog would have fifty five percent armor, and it's air to the front, right? So it would it would have would still be weak to air, unfortunately. What would, what would the, how would the skeleton do on the front row? Its armor would be extremely low, but it would at least have extremely high air resist. Hmm. It cause broken armor. You have even worse... Slightly better air resist. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this. I'm probably going to regret it. But I, I really want to try it. Enhance resistances. Actually, that'd be fine because then that would. You know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I would at least want to get the. Okay. I want to get. I want to at least try to get the skeleton archer to get some benefit from. Because you know, being in the center provides no benefits for him. Okay, Yeti Go got shifted to the front. That's about as good as what I could have asked for, I guess. It's not amazing, but it's fine. Okay. I'm going to go for the Goblin trick and just try to do as much damage to this guy as I can, even though he's going to heal himself a bunch. Okay, you survived. Good for you. Slow him down. You dodged. I forgot. Well, that didn't go very well, did it? I'm still going to try to get some morale damage on them. I'm not going to expect to get much, mind you. Orc's going to die here. And there's no way the goblin's going to survive that. <laughs> okay. Get a couple bits of morale there. And then we're going to do an intimidation. I think one of them is immune to master spells, right? Nope, guess not. Father of the Damned is going to do... Because they're terrified already, I'm only going to go for Spectral Claw. So we're going to get that Berserker, maybe. If, if of course, the Father of the Damned survives this round. She removed a penalty, I think. Uh, are we going to get him? No, not quite. All right. Well... 
if the father of the damn survives another round, which I don't expect it to happen because of the broken armor. No, he's not going to survive. He's down. Rallying Horn will help out significantly, though, in getting rid of at least the Berserker. Oh. Uh, let's slow them down. It's not even a question. Okay, so... Oh, right, I forgot you won't... <sighs> I forgot you don't deal morale damage. Of course you don't. You have extremely high nature resist, so we're gonna go with the volley. Howl? Okay, good. That at least gets rid of the Berserker. Okay, and... Yeah, fear the dead, why not? It's not amazing, but it does something. Every little bit of demoralized helps significantly. Uh, okay, right. Archer dodged. That is really unfortunate. The dog died in one hit. I should have expected something like that to happen. I know. I don't think we're going to get... No. <sighs> okay, this is really bad. Because there's no way that... Yeah, I was going to say, there's absolutely no way that that one is going to survive. Hmm. We can't get rid of the damn guy in the back, the Enchanter. Like, he's so close. We're so close to getting rid of him, but we can't get rid of... Oh, you're still alive. How are you still alive? I don't understand how that works. Oh, we might actually get him from the Demoralize here. Right? Okay, we're just barely going to get rid of... Uh, just barely get rid of the enchanter here. It's going to make this last section of the fight much easier. Because we can just use challenge. One more challenge should do it. So we do get the enrage. Yeah, we're good. Actually, I probably could have gone for a kill on, on the Templar also. Just for the sake of doing that. Okay, you're making it real hard for me to choose between these three uh, these three monsters here, game. Skeleton Scientist would be pretty good because of the enhanced trap, but Futa Kuchiona for that... Well, she doesn't do that much morale damage, actually, at level 2. Gotta go with my... Uh, Gotta go with the Dark Magus. Guess I don't have to, but it's what I'm doing anyway. Okay. So it's not too bad morale wise. Motivation wise, I should say. Where are we at money wise? 514. Hmm. So there's a training course event. Um. I might train up one monster, maybe two, maybe not two, maybe just one. Hmm. I remember Skeleton Magus being very cheap to level up. So sure. And let's level up one of our orcs. No, well. Hmm. Um. Let's level three get to go get. 20 HP, 10 fire resist, 15, no, 10 fire resist, 10 nature resist, um, 180 to level up the Yeti Go. I think when I level up the orc, that, that's, this is when Scream of Terror starts doing, or, or demoralized, yeah, okay, that's fine. We'll level up the other orc later. Merchant, I don't want to bother with. Uh, I don't really want another Rallying Horn. I know it's level 2 instead of level 1, but I just I don't really want it. I don't really want it. Sorry. Okay. What are we plundering? So, both Orcs and my Dark Magus. Oh, boy. So, a bit of money, but a good chance all monsters will be tired. And a chance to find an artifact. Volunteers get plus two motivation. That's good for the one orc. 35% chance when volunteers after three weeks. 
Maybe set a monster free. I'm going to go for the chance to find an artifact. No artifact. And everyone's tired. I should maybe stop doing that one. I'm just going to say that one there. Therapist is great, actually, right now. We have just enough tiers to extend. Do we need to extend, though? I think only the orc in the front. Yeah. I'm still going to go for the therapist, because I would rather save up a little bit of money right now. We have 300 gold, which is great, but... I think I would rather save up a little bit so we can level them up later. Maybe. Okay, so low-level heroes, we get a monster and a small amount of money. We get a monster and slightly more money, or artifact. So they're going to lose penalties, but we get an artifact. I'm going for the artifact. Okay. What are we dealing with? Okay, so we've got a concertist, we've got an invoker, and we've got a sage. Damage and morale taken from traps is reduced by 50%. Kind of bad, but not horrible. Can't be affected by penalties that deal morale. <laughs> of course not. Why would the game be fair? Can't be affected by demoralize. Okay, you're pushing real hard for me not to be able to scare these folks away right now. Okay. In that case, I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay. Why don't we just do Rallying Horn first? Try to do as much as we can, because all the penalties are going to be removed after the next group of monsters, after the second group of monsters. Okay, what are we dealing with now? Ice and fire to the front. Nothing will survive that. And physical to the area. Nothing will even come close to surviving that, right? I'm not putting the Dark Makers in the front game. It's not going to happen. Okay. Orc to the front you go. Sorry in advance about your impending doom. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who to bring. Dark Magus, I guess, just for the... I mean, he's, he's not gonna... This is gonna go so badly. Okay. So it's fire and ice to the front. Fire and ice to the front. Jeez. I'm not putting the dog in the front. I want the dog to survive more than one round. I guess we'd put the other orc in the front. It's not going to go very well. Physical of the area, right? Yeesh. Both of them are not good for that. Okay. Your nature resist was super high, right? Not super high, but higher than I'd like it to be, I guess. All right. Doggo. Oh, right. Second trap. Let's go for the circular saw. Just so I can start using that attack that... Just so I can... I'll just have to stack as many bleeds as possible, I guess, on these heroes. I don't know. So it kind of depends on who's going to go first. Goblin went first. Kind of unfortunate. Actually, it's not that bad. Because I know he's going to dodge, but that's fine. Because I can just impair everybody. I did a lot of uh, morale damage, actually, to the concertists. More than I was expecting to do. Okay, Orc barely survived. That's great. That's as much as I can ask from him. You know what? Since we're doing a bunch of morale damage now, maybe I'm just going to try to go for that. It's probably a bad idea, mind you, but... Still going to maybe try a little bit. Orc's still not going to survive around. Goblin's pretty much dead. Ooh. Okay. Not quite ideal there. Okay. So who's going to dodge? Sage is going to dodge. That's okay. If I can live another... If I, I don't expect to live two rounds. If I do, that'd be amazing. I'm not going to expect it, though. 
Because I can come... Oh, okay. I can... I can... I've almost got the Concertist. I would love to get rid of him. Please let me get rid of the Concertist. We got rid of the Concertist. I think. Okay, you're still alive. Good. Okay. Great. We got rid of one of them. That's... Okay. We got rid of all of them. Thank you, Domino Effects. Two bird stone, bewitching glove, or protean barrel. For once, this is kind of a tough call. I mean, two bird stone is definitely my top pick. Damage dealt by monsters to heroes uh, out their maximum life is increased by 100%. I'm still going to go two bird stone. Okay. That went better than I expected. So we have 354 gold. I probably should start upgrading my traps because they're still all only level one. Or I could just go to the... If a merchant shows up again, I could just buy new traps because they start at level two from the merchant. I don't know. Maybe. It'd be cheaper to just buy new traps, honestly. But I don't know... The merchant's not like a guaranteed to show up. So maybe I won't. Okay... Let's look at the traps, see how much it's going to cost to level them up. Uh, let's... let's 200. Let's do Rallying Horn for sure. The rest of them I'm not super concerned about. Okay. Go ahead and take my life, it's fine. I need the money anyway. Okay, event is fine. Oh, let's see, what are we doing here? Okay, wait, is this is this different? I don't I don't know what this is. Hold on. Let me look at this for a second. Uh, the brewer behind Strangle Stout, the world famous beer with a delicate aroma of uh, stagnant slime, is looking for hero tears to make a whole new blend. Okay. She'll pay you uh, in as much beer as you can uh, as you can urinate. Lovely. Will you make a contribution? So if I accept, then everyone gets plus one motivation. If I sponsor, then I get troll beer. Which, um, sure, we'll sponsor. I'll take the troll beer, it's fine. I think I've been crapping on the troll beer a lot, just because of the speed loss, but like plus 50% extra HP is pretty good. Okay, I have a bit of money. When is the next... Oh, the next dungeon is immediately after this. I don't use this very much. Let's see. Yeti go to level 4 for 250 gold. It's fine. I'll level him up. I don't have a lot of monsters, though, now that I'm thinking about this. Uh, maybe I should not have done that? I probably shouldn't have done that. I definitely shouldn't have done that. We need more monsters. <laughs> I really need to... I really need more monsters right now. Okay. What champion are we dealing with? Archmage, again, Tracker and Imagagon. So we're not getting shifted. That's great. But they have way too much morale, I think, for me to feasibly cause a morale victory. Can't be affected by demoralized. Yeah, that just that seals it for me. Damage morale taken for traps reduced by 50%. Okay. Yeah, we're 100% we're going for kills here. As best I can, of course. Okay, so we're dealing with uh, ice damage to the front, fire damage to the back, air damage to the back. Fire and air to the back. Okay. I think a rallying horn is, the is a good spot to, to start with. Especially because th I only have three monsters in the front. Okay. Orc has decent ice resist, right? Decent, not amazing. It's gonna have a big pile of HP with that uh, that troll beer. Let's see. It was it was ice and air, yeah, to the back, I think. Uh, no, fire. Sorry, fire and air. I mean, neither the goblin nor the dark magus would be particularly good here. Because whoever gets put in the back is going to die. Like, there's no way... Get oh, crap. They're going to heal their health, too. Oh, damn it. 
I didn't even notice that until just now. I wish there was a way to rearrange a dungeon. Like if you could say, oh, you know, you could pay like 200 gold when you start a dungeon to be able to customize it the way you want it to. So you like wouldn't get screwed by the dungeon layout like how this one is. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Ice to the front, fire and air to the back. Fire and air to the back. Well, Skeleton Magus would be pretty good for that. What's your ice resist? Not very good. Okay. I'm going to go for... So the dog is going to lose... Is it 50 speed? It's 50 speed. I'm still putting the dog in the front. So we can get the effect of that one artifact. Okay, you dodge the trap, that's fine. No big deal. Okay. What do I want to do here? Your physical is, your armor is pretty decent. Actually, oh wait, hold on. Okay, your nature is, is pretty bad, so I'm gonna actually, especially because of the two birds stone, I think it'd be very silly of me not to just completely and only target the Archmage. Although, I mean, we might as well do impairment because I don't have anything else I can do for the Dark Magus. Dark Magus is dead. It sucks. Okay, good resist. Although I guess that's more because he has 225 HP. That helps. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to focus entirely on the Archmage here. Even though the Goblin's dead. Now the Orc's going to die because of the... Uh, He's the only one left. Okay, he survived. That's good. That's good. One more cleaver. It's not bad. Although, pretty much all of their HP is going to be restored by this... Um, maybe not that much for the... Um, not as much for the guy. The, the Archmage. As I thought. So, it's not terrible. It's still not going to go particularly well here. Because, like, the variety of elemental damage from this group, it covers a wide spectrum. And it makes it very difficult to counter. So, it's okay. We got we got a couple layers of, of um, frostbite. Archmage is weak to fire, so we're going to go for the burning whip. It's not going to do an amazing amount of damage, but it's fine. There's a lot of shield on him right now. Okay. Uh, what's your nature resist? Not great. Hmm. So it's 65 damage... If I poison, if I toxic volley, I think that will get the archmage with poison and stuff. I think it will. And you're neutral to fire. I'm not going to target the. I'm not going to target the archmage. Okay, good. So tracker's armor is positive, but that's okay because the damage from bite will still relay to her to the next character. You know what I mean. Okay. She is resistant to fire though, right? Yeah. So, I'm gonna just kill the image again. Get him out of here. It's not bad. Okay. She doesn't have two penalties. Oh, well, now she does. Oh, she's dead. Never mind. Okay. Gruesome surprise, vampire, or devouring whip. I didn't really get a chance to benefit from the devouring whip last time, so I'm not going to take it. I will take the vampire because I need monsters right now. 
I think we're going to call this episode here. Again, I don't remember exactly when I started the last one, but I think it's been about that amount of time for me to stop. So thank you, everybody, for watching this episode of Legend of Keepers. Please click the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel for more of this. I will talk to you all next time.